this professor would enter, oh, would enter. Yes, founding National Secretary Alliance for Democracy and Distinguished Fellow of Abuja School of Social and Political Thought. Yes, sir. You said we have spoken so much inside, but we want to get your insight. How did you think the press or the media performed during the last general election? How can you describe the media performance? There is a more urgent matter before us today. The question of how the media performed, analysis of that, taking stock of the media environment and media space and the context under which they performed. We wait another day. In two or three days' time or four days' time, there will be very in process. The IGP of police is already speaking. The DG, DSS is speaking. The military are speaking. And my sense of it is that they are shutting down democratic conversation. We should not allow that. Why are you going to swear people in if you want to allow those who want to protest to protest peacefully, legitimately, and constitutionally? I did say inside in a segment on the dialogue, if you have your security perimeter, you know, within which you don't expect anybody except invited guests and those with clearance, outside the perimeter, thousands, if possible, millions of Nigerians are permitted to gather with their placards, waving it and protesting. Now, what is going inside there is not really a likening. That is part of democracy. You can shut it down. That is what is important now, not the performance of the media during the last election. The media is a fundamental guardrail for protecting democratic infrastructure, democratic governance. The moment you tear it down, democracy vanishes. Authoritarianism becomes the order of the day. Illiberal practices we take over. The behavior of MBC, the behavior of even the present elect media team is abhorrent at this time and age. That's why I want to repeat, if that is the only thing you have to take away from here, as people will be sworn in on 29th May, millions of Nigerians gathered across the country have a right to protest wherever they are. So long as you don't have arms, you don't have any weapon, and you're doing it peacefully as the law provides. And the media should cover this robustly. With intensity, the way you cover the swearing in, that's the way you're going to cover the protest of the people. Or the endorsement of the people. Whoever wants to protest or counter protest, it is permitted in law. It is important. So when you hear those who manage the security state speak with, very, with so much vehemence, as if people are going to topple the democratic system, that's not going to happen. No. The right to protest is part of the right which is provided for in law. And so long as you do it, in a peaceful, legitimate, constitutional manner, that right can never, should never be abridged. So the excuse the NSA gave us that there will be foreign visitors coming from other countries that you don't repent. Very important. In fact, the more the foreign visitors, the more the protest. Those visitors in their own country, they are protests. If you're coming from the U.S., there they are protests in Paris. There are protests for the past three months going on. A lot more protests, even more violent protests than what they have in Nigeria here. If you don't protest, it's a piece of the graveyard. Those foreigners will be embarrassed if you don't even protest. You should therefore protest peacefully, legitimately, constitutionally. Thank you so much. Thank you.